Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren in the Books or should I say Lauren and the Board Games. Uh, today, this weekend, it's Friday, oh, the light, literally I've just drawn those curtains and then the light disappears. Let's get the light back in. <laughs> um, today is Friday. Ow. Um, today is Friday the 21st of August. I've just finished work. I was working from home today. Just finished work. It's just gone four. And um, the plan is for this weekend is for David and I to play every board game that we own. There's 43 board games behind me, um, some of which are doubles. So for example here we've got two sets of uh, dominoes. So we'll only play one of those. Uh, we've got a few of those where we've only got we've got two sets of the same game, so we'll only play one of those. But this weekend, David and I are going to play all of the board games we own. Now that may involve tonight, David and I just playing board games, just David and I. Um, tomorrow night we've got friends coming round, um, and then Sunday um, I've got my my mum and dad coming round. So some get some games, and I've I've tried to sort of put them in order. Um, these ones are ones that you have to play with four or more players. These ones are ones that we can play with two players. The ones directly behind me are ones that work best with four players. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to vlog the weekend. Um, I'll, you'll, you'll, so, uh, you'll see some clip, clips of David and I playing the games, of us playing games with friends, etc, etc. Um, they're all games we've played before because they're all games that we've owned, uh, that we've owned for a while, apart from this one new one that I bought which I'm very excited about. Jaipur, bought this yesterday, oh, bought this earlier on this week, it arrived yesterday, we played it once. It's in Italian, but I, uh, Jen was kind enough to um, to send me the uh, the video of how to how to play it, which I watched and we very much enjoyed that. So yeah, so um, as I said, it's Friday, so the plan for tonight, we've got um, sesame crusted halloumi with bulgur wheat for dinner, which looks amazing, and David and I are going to finish off watching uh, what we do in the shadows, we've been watching that on iPlayer, I think we've got two or three episodes left, so we're going to finish off... Um, um, watching that and play like some shorter games. We've averaged that we need to get about 13 to 14 games played a day, um, including tonight. So tonight we're going to start with some some shorter ones, like things like Pizza Party, which is a dice rolling game, Smashing Pumpkins, which is a matching game. Just some like shorter ones, um, and we're going to do that. We're going to watch. Um, watch the end of um, what we do in the shadows, play some of those games, then have dinner, then maybe play a longer game after dinner and just see what we can get done today. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's go. David, how are you feeling about this? All right. He's all right. I'm quite looking forward to it. The weather's supposed to be terrible this weekend, but actually it's very, I mean, it's really, really windy. Um, and as you can see, the sun keeps going in and out. Um, but I think it's going to be really fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So let's do it. Right, so we're going to now pick some quick games. I'll take one, then you take one. I think we should get eight. What, eight each? No, eight between us. All right, okay. Oh, no, ten. Let's do ten, let's then. Let's do ten. Let's do ten. So I'll take one, then on. you'll take one. All right. So first of all, I'm going to take Pizza Party. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, I'll go for double. Doubles are... Would you, would you mind showing Sorry. it to the camera as we go? I'm picking double. Very good. Uh, I'm going to go for... Sushi go. Sushi go, because that's quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Lauren's favourite game. Oh, we've not played that. I said we played all of them, but we haven't actually played no, we that. Haven't played that. That's like a cut, so we've got to learn that one yeah, as well. So, so we'll have to, hopefully, that's quite quick. Um, would you pass me dressed up dogs? Because that's quick. Dressed up dogs. <laughs> dressed up dogs is um, basically uh, yeah. pairs, so we'll play that. Yeah. Um. Dominoes. What, do you want to play Dominoes or Moginos? Hold it on the other side. Um, there is an actually, it doesn't actually say Dominoes on That's this. Dom so just, what do you want to play? We're playing one version. Uh, let's playing... play Moginos. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. So we've got, we've got t uh, six there. Yeah. Uh, I'll go for Rhino, Rhino Hero. Rhino Hero. That's also quick. All right. Um, let's go for... One of my favourites. Shut the box. Shut the box. That's so we'll just quick. do it the first person to complete it, yeah? Yeah. Um, that might not necessarily be And quick. then the last one is this last quick one, which is um, Smashing Pumpkins, which is a quick one. I'm saying, is it a good idea for us to get all the quick ones out? But we might want a few quick ones later on, but hey. Yeah. Well, we're picking. There we go. There we go. There's, so, and you get one more to pick. Okay. Let's go. Let's go for Flux. I can't really remember Flux. We have a Christmas version of this, but it's away with the Christmas stuff, so we'll just have to to play it. I don't remember what you've got to do, so let's That's get rid of it. That's ten games. Yeah. 
So here they are, the 10 games that we're going to start with. David reckons we can get these done in two hours. I think maybe that's possible. Um, not sure what we're going to start with. Maybe pizza party, just because I've mentioned pizza party first a few times. Um, I'm also going to, as I said, make note of um, who... Oh, no, I might not have said, but on Instagram, I've, um, I'm going to make note of who wins everything. So I'm going to write down what game we play, and then I'm going to mark it in pink if David wins or in green if Lauren wins. Um, and, yeah, then we'll work out who wins overall. But, yeah, let's have a pizza party then. Pizza party, pizza party, pizza party. And here we go, we're starting with Pizza Party. I'm not going to explain how to play every game we play because sometimes there's just going to be so many, but this yeah, is a you very don't really simple... Yeah, you 43 no. <laughs> Imagine, imagine if you were doing it as well. Oh my word. Right, so with Pizza Party, what you've got to do, do you think back to the, um, the factory where they make the... So, pizzas were invented in Italy. Yeah, that's where you'd go from. Anyway. This is, you have to be quite trusted on this game. It's a dice game. You roll, yeah. you get little cards with ingredients on a pizza. You roll your dice, which have the ingredients, and then as you get it, you create a pizza. It's the first person to create a pizza that wins. Yeah. Is that going to be annoying or not? No, that'll be right. But we're just about to put on uh, what we do in the shadows. We're yeah. going to crack on for a bit, so let's do it. Ready, go. We have got to return to... In any doubt. You just said you didn't know how it Yay! Ron. Gryffindor. Um. Oh, uh, Lupin. Oh, Sword. Oh God. Marauder's map. Marauder's map. Marauder's map. So new rule is first play random. The first card you play must be chosen at random from your hand by the player on your left. We're halfway through cocktail party. I'm not hating it, you know. You have to collect ingredients to make these cocktails. This is what I've made so far. Margarita, virgin mojito, very on trend as I don't drink booze, dry martini, and then these are my tips. Um, but David's just had a little knock, knock, knock at the door. Are you gonna come in and show us? Oh, okay. David for a few months has been getting beer 52, where you get how many beers a month? Eight. And they're normally different um, yeah. from different countries and things like that. You've had Ireland and then you had Netherlands. And what's this this time? This the best of 20. Now, I don't drink beer, but I do get excited to see what you get. What, what snacks well, have you got? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> he gets one snack. Oh, God, I might open these now. Rank. He gets one snack at a time and then he gets beers. So what have you got? What? Oh, my phone's going. Who's ringing me? Oh, it's my sister. You show these. So they're all light pale ale beers because I don't really like dark beers. So we've got Wiper and True. Ooh, oh, no, this looks good before I had a lovely one then. Uh, Cape Sour. Oh, not really a fan of sour -y stuff, so that'll be interesting. Um, the Wild Beer. Oh, I like a fruity. Oh, hold on. I like a fruity one. There we go. That's nice. Um, what else we've got? Wild Car Brewery, Waymere IPA, that looks funky. And the last can, which is a melon pale ale. Very nice. And then my three bottles, I like a bottle. Casperia, cashmere pale ale. That would be very posh. Then we've got a little smiley face guy, pills. Hmm. 
looks interesting that one and then my final one a new england new england pale ale comet centennial very nice have to say, i'll probably have a couple of them tonight i like me uh, world beers there we go nice yum yum look at this cheeky cat running all over our uh our game mini no she doesn't want crisps <laughs> So this is a game that we found in a pub. Although, had you played it before? Before we played it in the pub that time? Um, you roll dice and then whatever they add up to, you have to close it and you're trying to shut all of them down so you can shut the box. Um, and you just keep going until someone wins it. So I've had a go. No, David didn't do it. Back to me. We, did it. we didn't get the moment where he won, but we've been playing this for such a long time. I was beginning to think it was gonna take us as long as the other games, but David's just won. Congrats, a victory sip. Yeah. <laughs> right. What do you think next then? A cardi? A cardi B. A cardi B. A selfish? We've only got to play one of those. A selfish, yeah, let's do a selfish. So, one of those, zombie selfish or space selfish. Um, I'm trying to think of things we can do over there that we don't need to sit at a table for. I mean, I really liked Jaipur, but do you want to save that for a bit later on? Yeah. Yeah, let's save it. Um, blink, that doesn't take long. No. One more. Colour brain? One of the colour brains? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go over to the, to the arena. So we're gonna play Blink, which is a two player matching game, very fast. And then, as I said, we're going to play. Um, we only have to play one version if we own more than uh, more than one version of a game. And we've got two versions of Colour Brain. Uh, we've got the ordinary Colour Brain version or Disney Colour Brain. Can we play the ordinary version? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like we played the Dis. Just spilt them out. So yeah, we'll play that. Yeah. Um, and then the other game we've got. Oh my good lord! No! No! David, there's too much in there. It's too frightening. I think let's play normal selfish. There isn't a normal one. They're either <laughs> zombie or space. Oh, sorry, oh uh, you want to play space? space? Yeah. Play space. Okay, so then we've got two versions of selfish. Um, we're going to play space selfish. Uh, but yeah, should we start with Blink? Oh god, I'm so yeah. worried about opening Colorbrain up. But yeah, that's that's the next three games then. We're playing backgammon now and we've got to the bit where it's just a dash. Look at David having a beer on a Friday night playing backgammon. Uh, we've got to the bit where it's just um, everyone's trying to get no, there. I mean, you can move mine all day long. But... Oh, bloody hell. I keep forgetting. Three. Oh, oh. No. One, two, three. Look. Minty girl. Look at you like a little teddy bear. Oh, David, she's so cute. We just played an extremely quick game of Nope, yeah. which shows some of the colours on those cards because they are lovely. Um, but before I even had a chance to turn the camera on, um, David won. So, uh, yeah, lovely. No. You don't like it? No, let's go back into storage. <laughs> let's go back into storage. Nope. Nope, it's not staying out. So that's 15 games played now. Uh, we've, we've we put them into sort of piles. I'll show you when I'm out of the uh, bathroom. Um, but we think we're going to play three more tonight and then we've put them into piles that I'll, I'll show you a bit later. Um, but I'm going to have a bath and David kindly bought me a little peach bum bum bath bomb, which just smells lovely. So I'm going to have a bath. And I'm also currently reading Silver Sparrow by Tiari Jones. Um, so I'm going to uh, read that in the bath as well. 
Dinner is served. This should be a bit crispier. It's um, sesame crusted halloumi with under on, on a bed of tabula. Um, I'm just going to take it through to my boyfriend. Oh, I haven't got any knives and fork. Did you get knife and fork, David? Knives and forks. David's dinner. Has he got a top on? He has! Oh, I'll put one on especially. Lovely, thank you. So we're going to eat this, watch the, um, the what we do in the shadows that we were going to watch earlier, and we didn't, um, and then we've got three games to play tonight. We've done a little um, section in section oh, up there, um, so we'll talk you through that in a mo. Well, when we've eaten the dinner. My hair, this whole vlog in fact, my look is just lovely. Um, we've just had dinner, it was okay, it wasn't as, I mean it looked better than it was. Disappointing isn't it when ha that happens. Um, I'm just showing you the setup we've got over here in terms of splitting things up. Oh, I'm a good old rub of my face, let me show you. So these are the ones we're gonna play tonight. We're gonna play Jaipur tonight and we're gonna play Villainous and maybe Banana Grounds probably. Um, Villainous, these are two, this is an expansion pack so we're just gonna take, um, uh, a, a villain each from that uh, and then this is the pile of ones that we are going to play uh, by ourselves either tomorrow during the day or sunday during the day um it's a whole host of card games look at that uno box falling to bits uno phase 10 skip bow sky joe kadama this downton abbey board game which is basically like just like a board game thing labyrinth harry potter and the harry potter book uh, uh hogwarts battle game these are the ones we're going to play with my friends coming around tomorrow night there's eight there you've got crabs obama llama corks which we've never got to the bottom of so i'll be interested to see if we can get that sorted scatter grease dream phone blockus throw throw burrito and what's the last one? Oh, border dash you can see that there these are the ones we've already played and then these are the ones we're going to play with my parents on sunday uh think fast and linky carcassonne takanoko uh uh, Map Omino's, the UK one. I do have the Europe one, I can't find it anywhere. Strictly Come Dancing um, and Chameleon and What Came First. So, obviously, this is just a sort of... We've, we've, we've done this for, like, to, to separate things, but if we want to play one of these tomorrow with my friends, then that's fine. It's the same way. But, yeah, we've got to have these all played. So, I'm going to make space now um, on this end so we can play Villainous. So, let's get on with that. Present and your future as well. I could win. Four, you could win. Five, right. Shouldn't have done that really, but it doesn't matter. Right, and now I'm going to play The Cards Will Tell, number one. The cards, the cards, the cards will and tell. And you've only got two. We've only got two, so, so it there has to be those two. Oh, well done. The first one is lost. And the grand. I think. Don't do it yet. Of course it's not. Pay. Paint is thumb. Zebra. So the last game of the night, and it's our newest game, it's Jaipur, which is like a trading game. Um, we played it quickly last night. How do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, I do like it. This cat is being mad. She's running around. But I'd probably like it more if I hadn't played 16 games beforehand. Um, it's actually 17, 17 games. games beforehand. What do you think, Minty? Cutie girl. <laughs> David is the master tradesman. I will hand over your master tradesman oh, token. Congratulations. How do you feel? Oh, I feel ecstatic. To have won. Because it's, it's the end of day one. Oh, David, <laughs> do you really hate it? No, I don't hate it. No. Do you like this game? I really like this it's game. It's good. I knew you would. You like a card a very game. Very good card game. Very good card game. Don't buy the Italian version like I did though, because you won't know what to do. Though they've got lots of good um, talk-throughs and stuff on the internet and. Jen helped me out. Cheers. Say night. Night. Stop moving. <laughs> morning. It's Saturday morning. Cup of tea has been made. Fight like a princess. Um, and we're ready to get cracking back on with games. We're going to play a swift game of um, Labyrinth. This is the Harry Potter version of Labyrinth um, before breakfast. And then we've got a sort of, um, it's called like Indian eggs and naan for breakfast. Um, or which is for brunch. 
More brunch, yes, thank you, Dave. <laughs> More brunch. Old, yeah. um, but I just also wanted to show you my Happy Blossoms, which have arrived. This is what's peeking around the corner here. Happy Blossoms are a company, look at these guys, um, where um, you get baked flowers. So um, the flowers you get last forever, really, because you don't have to water them or anything like that. You get them in all sorts of colours. And I went for this big, bright bunch. Um, and yeah, I've put them in this little uh, panda thing. And this was the ribbon that I got, so I've put it around the panda like a little tutu. Um, and these arrived today, um, which I think will look quite nice. They're actually not quite as bright. I thought there was more of this sort of colour. These are much more autumnal looking than I thought they would be. They smell really nice. There, there's something very homely in scent about them. Um, and uh, this is the, uh, like they've got lilac in them and bright orange and things like that. But yeah, I thought they would, I think this is called the Sherbet Macaron Bunch. What I will say is, is that the bunch looked a lot bigger online. This bunch was 45 pounds. Um, but yeah, I will never have to buy flowers again, hopefully. Well, I mean, I will. But yeah, they're just, um, I'm semi-pleased with them because I thought they'd be, it would be brighter than this. Um, and I also thought there would be more. Uh, if anything, I thought with the, I've got two two like this, I've got a panda and I've got a cat. And I thought with a, with a medium bunch, I'd be able to fit them in the panda and the cat, but they, they barely fit in the panda. But yeah, this is, they arrived today and I've been waiting 60 days for them. I ordered them 60 days ago. Um, and yeah, I mean, I do like these bright bits, but I just thought there'll be more brightness in them. What do you think? What do you think of them? I think they're cute. And I think I'm going to get to love them very much. But yeah, I, I just thought there'd be more. £45 on dried flowers. Pack it in, Lauren. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's play a bit of Labyrinth and I'll put these out so I can get my £45 worth. Let's be neat. Hello, little leg. <laughs> David's just won Labyrinth. I, I made a silly mistake at the end, didn't I? Congratulations on your victory. First, first game of Saturday, victorious. Breakfast time, sing your breakfast time song. Breakfast time, not an eggs are nice. I like breakfast even though it's brunch time. So yeah, that's what we're having for breakfast. But let me show you something else that's just arrived, which is quite exciting. We've got to take that rubbish box out. This cat just arrived. No, she didn't really. This has arrived. Sainsbury's magazine, September. Look how aut autumnal this is. Very excited to look through here. Very, very, oh, look at that. That looks so autumnal. Oh, this is for next month. Jacket no, the Davids are excited. There's something in here called like cheeseburger jacket potatoes. And he wants to make it. Is, is it like a box set section? This is all just filthy stuff, David. Here we go. Cheeseburger jackets. Loads of filthy stuff. Like popcorn chicken nachos. Meat feast pizza roll. I mean, nothing that's very friendly for me. Dirty dogs. What? What dirty dogs? Lots of different hot dogs. Oh Satay rainbow slaw dogs. Sweet chili cheese dogs. Tex Mex oh dogs my. and dirty dogs. Oh, I want a dirty dog. Hmm, none of these are vegetarian though. I'd have to get my own vegetarian sausage. Look at this yum tastic breakfast we made. It's good, doesn't it? That's hot. Delicious. I'm just going to get the naans out. And of a. Mind your pop up. Cordial that your dad does. No. <laughs> no. It's Uno time, isn't it, David? It's Uno time. David just absolutely trounced me at Uno. We didn't do the normal scoring of Uno where you have to get to, I think it's 500, think which would take 500. us forever. And yeah. um, we just did best of three and David won two games back to back. So we are now playing Sky Joe, which is another card game. Got this for my birthday last year, was it? Uh, yes. It's like, how would you even describe it? I mean, David's not very good at describing board games anyway, but it's like, a, I really don't know. I want to like, 
maybe a bit of bingo. Yeah, it's like um, like add sums and stuff. You've got to get your board yeah. to add to the least. It's ever. another game where it's an element of luck yeah. as well. And you've got to, you've got to get the least. It's a bit like pointless. You've got to get, try and get the smallest yeah. score. But we will score. We will play this properly. Yeah. So what's this? This is up to up to a hundred, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this one properly. <laughs> Period pain. Sad. Um, we are dressed for the day. Strong Girls Club. What have you got on, David? What t-shirt have you got on? Uh, my selection of our cartridge um, uh, TV suggestions. Very cute. Um, and I'm just making myself a cup of chamomile tea because sometimes that eases the old period pain. Um, and then before our friends come round for the big game in sesh, David and I are going to start playing Phase 10, which is another one of those card games made by the people who make Uno. Um, and, but it's quite involved because you have to play 10 phases of it. Uh, it's a very good game. If you like Uno, you'll really like this. Um, and David's one of your favourite games, isn't it? It's one of my favourites. One of his favourites ever. Um, so we're going to start that and, and you can sort of like, as long as you're taking, like, working out who's scoring what, you can stop it at any point, really. So we're going to play that until our guests arrive. The kettle's just boiled, so I'm going to go and do that. Um, and then um, the game's party starts this evening. Or early after, early evening, almost. And um, our evening guests are about to arrive at any moment, yeah. so what should we do? Montage it? Montage say it. Cue, say cue the montage. Cue the montage! <laughs> Who's this, Alan? No way he hangs around. Tell me then! Mm. No, 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 Ready? Let's go. Can I go? Yeah. Shearing sheep. Meryl Streep yes. shearing sheep. Yeah. Um. Meryl Streep is Hello. Meryl Streep. What the hell is Meryl up to? Uh, she, she's driving a Jeep? Yes! Oh. Uh, sand. Uh, sand. Hourglass. Uh, condiment. S um, Harissa. Yep. Uh, crime. The wire. Yes. Uh, opulent. Mansion. Yes, very good. Come closer, come closer to me. <coughs> We're done for the day. It's five to midnight. We've played. Oh God, I feel like I've literally just counted these. Just getting them with my foot. Um. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen games today, 13 games, including nine with our friends who came over tonight and had a massive Indian takeaway, and you went for an hour to go and pick it up. Oh my god. Q was big. Um, Silly. But we've had a great, yeah, it's been good. I mean, it looks as though maybe David's in the lead. You'd think I should have. No, no, no. Yeah. I think you're still winning overall, but One, I've two, had, three, a, I had a good four, day today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I was on 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you're three behind. But that's fine. Like, I, I never thought I was going to beat you. Oh. But I haven't. I, but I'm, all, my aim was I wanted to go over 10. Oh, very good. Well, we've done 13 games, but a lot of them have been a lot longer. Like yesterday's. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was like we were blitzing through yeah. sort of five minute games and stuff like that. Like we've so. done the whole skip bow. Um, we've done the whole phase 10, 10 today, which is a long one. Is a long one. Yeah, and like some Labyrinth is games. quite long. 
Yeah. A skip bow it can be quite long. We've had a good day, haven't we? Yeah. So going into tomorrow, we've got 12 games to play. My parents coming around about two, so we can mm. finish off some ones in the morning. Oh, got some such games bad that we're period pains. got some games that we're not sure how your dad's gonna like throw throw burrito. burrito. Yeah. And the Strictly Come, and Dancing, the Strictly Come game. Dancing game. Where, oh, I ain't playing that. Where uh, if, if you're all, I think if you're the bottom two or the first two, you have, you to, have, to, a, you have to have a dance off. Dance off. Fingers crossed we're in that because yeah. it will be spectacular. Or you versus my dad, that would be nice. That would be great. I'm I'm partial to using props for props the jive. for my dances. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to lay down now, go to sleep because yeah. it's too much and I've got really bad period pain. And I'm not tired at all, so I'm going to stay up a little bit longer. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, I'll miss you. Yeah, but you need to get to bed. Night, night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Hi. It's Sunday. David's got a long sleeve top on. Autumn's drawing in. This is very skin tight, isn't it? This top is very, it's it's not very flattering. My, I have a little <laughs> noi noi when David. Um, I always wear David's. Oh, I'm going to do this. I need to put this over here, don't I? Yeah. So I can snuggle up to uh, one of David's tops when he's not here. How cute is that? And I sleep with it on me. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Um, I've got really bad period pain. Oh, yeah. But I've got chamomile tea. I'm hoping for the best. Also, we had curry last night. And all I can taste in my mouth is curry. Yeah. It's made me feel a bit... Oh. You're not going to have it for breakfast then? I don't think so. No, yeah. probably not. If, um, that's, if that's in your mouth, probably best off Yeah. Not we are on game 32. Um, game 32 is Destination Downton Abbey. And we... We love this, love game. this game. I will take you off and, and show you here. So it's basically a board game where you have, we need five of those in. each. You put, give us five of those each. Yeah. Um, and your house people, house servants. Servants. And you have to work your way around Downton Abbey, collecting Downton Abbey bells. And then the person at the end of the game who's got the most Downton Abbey bells is the winner. Yeah. Oh, you have to return back to you the You have to uh, return back to the hall, servants hall. Um, there's, there's, uh, there's sort of skill involved, but it's mainly just like, it's, yeah. it reminds me of an old fashioned board game I would have played when I was younger. It's just dice rolling and moving around the board. It's just a lovely little game. It's quite it? fun. We quite enjoy it. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. I've got a chamomile tea, then we'll think about some breakfast. These are the games we've got to play today. My mum and dad are coming over about two. So I'd like to finish this and maybe do, I don't know what else, maybe Harry Potter as well. Yeah, I think that might yeah. be a good plan. And have a shower and stuff. And then we've got halloumi burgers for dinner. So yeah. how are you yeah. feeling about today? Do you think we'll do it? Yeah, definitely. I'd be very surprised if we didn't. Cool. Let's go then. Yeah. Say it. Let's go. We defeated him. We've done it. And it's made us really want to play it. You love this game, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's very I, I almost forgot how much I really like this game. All the time we spent playing it. Yeah, we really did dedicate a lot of time to this, didn't we? It's very good fun. Enjoyable. Yeah. Let's put it so away. So technically, we, we both win this we game. We both win this one. It's so tense, isn't it? I don't know what they mean, though. Three to crawl. But it wasn't you, it's me and Dad. Oh. <laughs> what is the chemical symbol for mercury? Oh, I wish I had It's easier when you see it, though. Yeah, but I know the first two answers and I know the third Come on. one. In UK film ratings, 
Which rating comes between you and 12A? I don't know how we did it, but we did it. I actually don't think it was that tough. It is quarter to 10 on Sunday night, and we've done it. My mum and dad have literally just left. We finished with Takenoko. No offense to um, Mark and Sally, but we would have had this done probably about two hours earlier. Yeah, had I think they not... took a lot longer, <laughs> as did Takenoko. Yeah. We're not, we're not, we're not singling anyone out. Speed. But you know you are. <laughs> there wasn't. It wasn't a speed <laughs> game day today, was it? But we still no, did it. But we still did it. How what do you feel like you've learned from this experience? That maybe I don't dislike games as much as I thought. Oh, that's a nice thing. But I'm still not playing them after this for ages. Yeah, you need a bit of time off. What was been? What's been your favourite for the week? Well, was, well, we were talking about this early, wasn't we? And so. Although it wasn't the most competitive, the most fun I had was actually playing Fro Fro Burrito. Oh my God, that it was, was so very intense, guys. funny. Before we'd even started, my dad <laughs> launched one at me and got me right in the jaw. We yeah. hadn't even started it. That was fun, but like I really enjoyed Carcasson, Carcasson because yeah. that was liked, close. They liked Carcasson as well. Yeah, didn't they? and I also liked. What did we play after that? That was also like um, I actually even, but it's only because I've done so well and I never do that well which is Mapominos yeah I've never ever and done that well and you quite enjoyed Linky today so all the games you've previously thought you didn't mm. like you've actually not had a bad time with no I haven't actually yeah Linky okay. yeah I normally do pretty rubbish at but I don't know why I was in contention if you've made it this long through the vlog thank you very much for joining us on this uh, trip let us know if you have played any of the 40 two games that we have played uh what's your favorite game have you out of the games that we've played today which favorite game out of two this games is a very ever. uncomfortable position it's a lovely, i'm really comfy actually um and yeah let's take a bit of time off the old board games now yeah. and uh we'll see you all again soon for another yeah. youtube video bye, bye.